Welcome to our channel. Don't forget to subscribe and put likes, because your support is important for us. And here we go. Ahmed Akyol, the general manager of Aselsan, provided updates on Turkey's Cyper Long Range Area Air and Missile Defense System during an interview with Anadolu Agency. He announced that the Cyper system is slated to become operational within the Turkish Air Force Command by the end of 2024, thereby completing a comprehensive Turkish air defense layer, which will also feature the GERS, Hisar O, and Hisar O Plus systems. Additionally, Akil confirmed the initiation of development on the Cyper Block 3 missile, although specific details regarding the capabilities of this new missile were not disclosed. In recent years, Turkey has been actively developing and acquiring various air defense systems, including the GERS, Korkut, Sungur, and Hisar, alongside the Cyper, as part of its endeavors to enhance national defense capabilities. Initiated by the Turkish Defense Industries Presidency, SSB, in 2018, the Cyper system, a collaborative project involving a Selsun, Rakhazan, and the Tubatak Sage Research Institute, has been positioned as a counterpart to systems like Russia's S-400 air defense system. The Cyper Long Range Air and Missile Defense System is engineered to safeguard strategic assets against a spectrum of aerial threats, encompassing aircraft, cruise missiles, air-to-ground missiles, and unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs. Its distributed architecture offers flexible deployment options, accommodating both proximal and remote placements. The system supports multiple simultaneous engagements and successive firing sequences, and it can be seamlessly integrated with air, naval, and land forces for coordinated command and control through tactical data links. The Cyper system is structured into two main levels, the command and control level and the battery level. It encompasses a command and control center and long-range surveillance radar at the operation management and threat surveillance level. At the battery level, components include a fire control center, fire control radar, missile launching system, missile transport loading system, long-range missiles, communication systems, support equipment, and a class-type training center, all tailored to support operational requirements and readiness. Integration with radar networks and high-value broadcast systems, HVBS, enhances detection and tracking capabilities, establishing a broad surveillance and engagement framework. Notable features include various engagement modes, manual, semi-automatic, and automatic, integrated air picture generation, multi-target multi-radar fusion, and terminal guidance with RF seeker, among others. Designed to operate in diverse conditions, including day, night, and adverse weather, the Cyper Air Defense System offers vertical and oblique launching capabilities, a maximum interception range of 150 km, engagement altitudes spanning from 0.1 to 30 km, and 360 degrees coverage. It can track up to 100 targets and engage up to 10 targets simultaneously at the battery level while providing guidance for up to 20 missiles. The system's first firing test occurred in December 2022 at a test range in Sinop, northern Turkey where the Cyper Block 1 missile successfully engaged a high-speed aerial target at a range exceeding 100 kilometers, 62 miles. Subsequent announcements revealed that the Cyper system hit a long-distance target in its final test on May 12, 2023. The Cyper Block I missile is anticipated to target aerial threats within a range of over 70 kilometers and up to an altitude of over 20 kilometers, with capabilities expected to expand with the future deployment of the Cyper Block 2 missile, reportedly reaching a range of 150 kilometers. That's all for now. See you later.